Right, so this is Serato DJ Pro. When you first open it, it's gonna look like this. So I'm just gonna walk you through a few of the things across the whole screen so you understand what I'm talking about. At the top up here, you've obviously got the close button, the maximize button. There here, you've got the day mode button. So you can click this and it will change it to day mode. On here, you have one deck or two decks. So if you click two decks, you can see it as if you've just plugged in a DJ controller. My DJ controller is not plugged in just yet, but I've got Serato Play, which is an expansion pack, which allows you to pretend that you've got a DJ controller in. I'm gonna put this back to one because you're probably gonna just have one and not have the expansion pack. And then obviously at the top here, you've got the master level, which you'll see later. You've got the master volume. And if you click here, you've got expansions. This will take you to all your expansions in Serato DJ Pro. So I've got Serato DJ Pro full license, Serato DJ Suite, Serato Play, Pitch and Time, Serato Flip, and Serato D DVS. Up here, you've got the help. So it's got a few things like tool tips and shortcut keys, which I'm not gonna go through because you can have a look at them yourself. Then you've got the settings cog. In here has all your settings to do with Serato. I've done a video on all my top settings for Serato DJ Pro. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description down below, but watch it after this video. So yeah, there's a few settings in here which I don't need to go through just in this video. Then obviously, obviously here you've got your profile and how to manage your profile, enter a license code, etc. Then at the top here, you've got your time and then you've got your CPU bar. So mine's quite low at the moment because nothing's really going on, on my computer. But when you start doing a lot of things on your computer, you start doing a lot of things with your DJ controller, you can start to see it go up. You want to keep it in the green. If you see it going all the way to the end, then you need to, you know, sort your computer out. <laughs> then under here, you've got your first deck. Here's where you can drag your music in. And then you've got your controllers like your back button, your play button, your forward button. Then here you have your Q, flip and loop control. So if I click this, it gets rid of that menu. If I click that again, it comes back. And we're gonna go through all the, the loops and stuff and the cues in a bit. So, and then the next block we have, um, so this first one here is add a crate. So if you click this, it adds a crate on the left hand side. If you don't know what a crate is, a crate is just a playlist in Serato. Serato call it a crate. When vinyl DJs used to go out DJing, they used to carry all their records in a crate. So that's what this is. And then here you've got add a smart crate. So if I click this, you can create a smart crate which has, has, has some rules. So say for example, you've got a bunch of R&B tracks and you wanna build a playlist with R&B tracks from 2004. I can click add rule then I can go to year is 2004, and then I can go genre is R&B. So then if I save that and open that up, you can see all my R&B tracks from 2004. Then here we've got edit, so you can edit the smart crate that we just created. If we come along, we've got the way the tracks are laid out in the library. So this is how it is at the moment. If you wanna have bigger album arts on it, you can click this and you can see all the album art for your for your tracks. I don't really like it like this. I like to have it single line like this so I can see more of my music library. Analyze files. So basically when you drag some music into Serato, they're not gonna be analyzed. So when you analyze it, it analyzes how long the track's gonna be, the BPM, the key, and it also adds the beat grid onto the track itself. So say for example, this track here, Superstar by Usher, wasn't analyzed, I could Actually, no, what I can do is I'll remove the BPM from this and then I'll also remove the key over here. Now, if I just bring the key column over here, oh, that's disappeared now. Yeah, so Superstar, so if I drag this up now and go to Analyze Files, that's gonna analyze that track. Then if I come down to the bottom, you can see that the track is now 71 BPM and it has the key 10A again. So basically, what you're gonna end up doing when you import your music into Serato, you're gonna analyze all your music. Now, the first time you drag in all your music, you're gonna analyze it and it's gonna take a long time, but it tends to be like a one-off process. Like you're gonna put in like, I don't know, 2000 tracks and that 2000 tracks might take you half an hour or longer depending on your computer. But once you've done that, you don't really need to analyze them again. But yeah, so that's the analyze button. Here is the analysis settings. So you have a few things in here like set key, set beat grid, BPM range, etc. All these things I go through in another video which I'll link in the description down below. And then up here, you've got files where you can see all your folders on your computer. So say for example, you've got music that you wanna drag in. You can simply just pick up the folder and then drag it into Serato like that. The prepare window is really good. So say for example, you're DJing and you're scrolling 
scrolling down, you see a track that you don't want to play just yet, you can drag it into the um, prepare crate so you can have it for later. So you're preparing your tracks. A quick shortcut for that is if you're tapping down and you find a track that you like, you can press Command and P and it will come into there. Go down again, Command and P, and you can keep adding tracks like that. If you want me to do a video on keyboard shortcuts, type in shortcuts in the comments down below. And then we've got our history tab. Say for example, you just DJed last week, your history of all the tracks that you played will be in here. So I can scroll down and so I think it was today, I DJed and in here, I just played all these songs in here. And then say for example, I wanna take all these tracks and put them into a playlist. I can just highlight all these ones and drag it over like that. Or if I wanted to just do the whole thing, I can just drag over the date and it will create me a crate with the date of all the tracks that I played today. And then up here, you've got the search feature, which you'll probably use all the time. So literally in here, you can type in, I don't know, 50 cent and it will come up with all the 50 cent tracks inside that crate. If you wanna see all the tracks inside your music library and search, you can click all up here and then you can type in, I don't know, Kendrick Lamar, and it will come up with all the tracks for Kendrick Lamar. So then leading on from that, once you found a track that you want, and so let's say we found a track not like us, uh, Kendrick Lamar, I wanna now drag that onto the deck to start playing it. So I could drag it up here, and you can see that Not Like Us has been loaded onto the track. So now that we've loaded the track on, we can see a few more things. Above, um, so we can see the, the, the track name. So we've got Not Like Us Dirty with the artist underneath. We've got 9A and then we've got the BPM. So if you don't know what BPM is, it's beats per minute, how fast the track is. Then you've got how long the track is. So this is four minutes and 27. On here, you can click repeat. So the track just keeps repeating. If you want to eject that track, you can just click eject and then you can drag on another one like that. Above that, we've got the waveform here. So you can see the waveform above, so you can just see the, the whole waveform of the track here. But then also on the right-hand side, we can see the waveform of the track. So this is where you're going to see the waveform moving when the track is playing. So if I move this over, you can see the waveform of the track. I'm going to do, I'll, I'll play, actually, you know what? What I'll do is I'll bring in my CB music pack and show you. So if I go to desktop, and go to music pack and just bring in an Afrobeats track here. If I load that on and press play, you can see the track moving from left to right, I think it is. And then yeah, so, and for me to, to start and stop the track, I just press the space button. And yeah, that's it. So underneath that waveform and underneath the track name, we've got cue points. So cue points are markers in the track that you can set yourself. So here I've got seven cue points. So I've got one for the intro, one for the hook, one for the verse, one for the hook two, one for the verse two, one for hook three, and then one for the outro. So I've set them myself. Um, all DJs have different ways to kind of set their cue points and stuff like that. And across, you've got your loop settings. So say, for example, you want to set a four bar loop on this track, you can click four and it will set a loop there. And when I press play, it will just loop over and over again. And then I can do, a, I can half that. So then it goes down to two, half it again, half it again. Then if I want to come out of the loop, I'll click the button next to it. Then say, for example, you have a loop that you really like, you can click one and then you can click here and you can save the loop like this. So you can see that this loop has now been saved. So say, for example, I go back to the intro, but then I want to get straight back to the loop. I can click this and it will take me straight back to the loop. What you should do with all your loops, you should um, lock them so you can't accidentally delete them. On the left hand side, actually, um, we have obviously our crate viewer. So you have all, all audio, all videos, Serato stems. So if you don't know about Serato stems, Serato allows you to take the instrumental out of a track or the acapella out of a track. So if I look for not like us, put this in and then, I so you can hear Kendrick Lamar singing now. Must have hung a beat, ho. But then what I can do is I can just play the instrumental by pressing this button here. So watch this. Then if I just want to play the acapella, I can just press the button up here. 
What these your blowny ass niggas trying to sneak out in? The industry can hate me. Fuck them all in the mama. How many options you really got? I mean, there's too many options. I'm finna pass up. Now, Serato Stems is one of the most powerful updates they've ever introduced, but you need to make sure that your computer is powerful enough to do stems on the fly. But if you want me to do a whole video on Serato Stems, write stems in the comments down below. So that's stems. And then obviously these are all my crates. So I just have old of all my old stuff. And then I have a few crates in here. I can delete all these ones, obviously that I just created just now. So yeah, so this is my main crate here. So all DJs have their crates laid out differently. I've done a video on my entire Serato crate layout. If you want to watch that video, check the link in the description down below. If you want to know every single track that's inside all of these crates so you can understand what's played in the club, check the link in the description down below for my Serato crate collection. So the next thing that I can show you is how to import your music into Serato. So now, so basically, if you go to the files tab up here, find the folder that you have all your music in and then click it and simply just drag it over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually what I'm going to do is create a new crate and just type in music pack. And then I'm going to drag in these four folders here. So I'm going to go Afrobeats, drag it underneath here. Hip hop, drag it underneath here. House, drag it underneath here and r and drag it underneath here. So now I've just imported my music into Serato. Really straightforward. And like I said, people, if you want this Serato music pack, check the link in the description down below. It's completely free. Now, <sighs> mixing in Serato DJ Pro can get a bit complicated for someone that's never done it before. I'm gonna just show you some really basic mixing techniques that I use to get to help you start DJing. Now, you need to have a controller. I have the DDJ Rev 1 here. It's a really good beginner DJ controller. It costs around 250 pounds. If you're interested in this, check the link in the description down below. So then all I need to do is, it's plugged into the back at the moment. So all I need to do now to connect this to Serato is just plug this into my laptop. So I'm gonna pop it into the, the left-hand side. Then what you're gonna see is at the bottom, it's gonna say DDJ Rev 1 hardware connecting, and then everything's gonna change, right? Because now you've plugged in hardware, the interface is gonna change. So I'm just gonna eject this track here so we don't get confused and close these windows. So this is gonna be your main view of Serato when you start DJing. You've plugged in your DJ controller and you're ready to go and you have all your music in front of you. So the first thing you're gonna do in order to learn how to mix is simply just pick a track, right? So all DJing in Serato is, is playing one track, right? Letting it get to a certain point in the track, bringing in the next track and then fading out the first track. I know that sounds a bit whatever, but I'm gonna demonstrate in here. And you can follow along if you download the music pack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up an Afrobeats track. I'm gonna get Afrobeats track one. And then all you're gonna do is drag this track onto deck one, right? But now, before I get into the mixing, the interface has changed a little bit, like I said. So now you can see the two jog wheels up here. So you obviously I've got a track here. It's got the 93 BPM, it's got the the, the play point at the moment which is zero because it hasn't started yet and how long the track is. Everything else is kind of the same, it's just a little bit bigger and now we also have two now because obviously we have a DJ controller with two decks. So I'm going to drag on this track to deck two and you can see that we have two tracks loaded on Serato. Now what you can do with your the viewer Serato is change it. So if you don't like the way the waveforms are laid out like this, you can come up to here and click extended and you can change it. So you can do vertical, right? Which most DJs do like. I don't really like it myself. Then you've got horizontal, which is the one I had before, but just a bit smaller. And then we've got extended. Then we've got stack, which I do not like. <laughs> and then we've got library where you can't see any waveforms at all. Now as a beginner DJ, you're probably gonna find it's really hard. So what I'm gonna do is just have it back at extended. So extended, you can see a lot more of the track. So mixing basics are really straightforward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how I would mix these two songs together, whereabouts I'll mix them, and you can follow along, right? And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna be doing with the decks as I go along. Like I said, this, is, this isn't a how to DJ video, this is how to DJ with Serato, so I'm just gonna show you how I would do things. So the first thing I'll do is bring the channel fader up on the left-hand side and then bring the cross fader to the left, because now you can hear the song on the left-hand side. If I was to move this to the right-hand side and press play, you couldn't hear it because the crossfader isn't on that side. So what I'm gonna do is just 
move this over and I'm gonna play this track. I'm gonna play this track here and then when it gets the hook two, I'm gonna bring in the next Afrobeats track two and start it on the intro. Just watch what I do and follow along. First things first though, what's one thing that's wrong with this that can make this whole thing go completely wrong? Anyone guessed it? Basically, the track on the left hand side is 93 BPM and the track on the right hand side is 97 BPM. If you was to try and mix these two tracks, it would be an absolute mess. So what you need to do is match the two BPMs. Now, I'm gonna move the left hand track to 97 BPM. So on my DJ controller, I've got a tempo slider so I can bring the track speed down like this or bring the track speed up like that. So I'm gonna move it all the way up to 97 BPM. And then on this track, this one's just up a little bit on my DJ controller, so I'm gonna move this down. So actually, tell a lie, the one on the right is actually 94 at a normal speed, so I'm gonna move this back and put this at 94. So right now, we have two tracks at the same BPM. Now, we could use a sync button, but we're not gonna get into the sync button just yet. If you want me to do a video on sync, let me know in the comments down below. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna play this track, I'm gonna let it run, and then when it gets the hook two, I'm gonna start Afrobeats track two, but you're not gonna hear it. And then I'm gonna bring it in halfway through the hook, then I'm gonna EQ it out, and then bring the next track in. So just, 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 just bear with me, right? Ready, let's go. Right, so hook two is starting to come in now. So what I'm gonna do is get my next track ready. So I'm gonna bring the crossfader into the middle. And play. So now you can see the two tracks kind of lined up. And now I'm gonna bring the second track in. I'm gonna take out the lows and bring out track one. And that is a simple mixing technique that most DJs use. Every single DJ that you listen to is gonna do the same thing, right? They're gonna Play a track, it's gonna to get to the chorus, they're gonna start the next track, but it's not you're not gonna hear it. When it gets halfway through the chorus, they're gonna bring in the next track, take out the lows of the first track, let them blend together, and then take out the first track, and then the next track's gonna play. That's all DJing is, people. It's really, really simple. So if you wanna rewind rewind this video and go back to the start of that mix and try and you can try and follow along. Like I said, the DJ, the CB music pack is all there, completely free. So if you've got Serato, you've got the music pack, you can follow along. So yeah, so that was my video on how to use Serato. Um, it was quite beginner-ish, obviously. So if you want me to do another video on how to use Serato in more advanced settings, or if you want me to go through more mixing techniques like I did before, if you want me to demonstrate mixing through the DJ pack so then you can follow along as well, let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in that. So yeah, now you've watched this video, check this video out here.